This week's Bogan News is brought to you by the Shits Family Septic Tank Services. If your septic tank is clogged, then you've got to have the shits. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can do about Bruce after I've done the news, OK? And I'll get a Bogan News here. Well, you may remember from last time our mate Bruce who had the exercise bike for the lights and that, that was before Tilly's tabby tiddles got tossed off the treadmill. Anyway, yeah, that Bruce was practising and the truck went through and, and took him out. Anyway, uh, yet we found where he is. Yeah, the truck was headed to Woolamaloo, but... It was very lucky for him that the truck he pulled in at the truck stop and he fell off the ground. We'll show you up here some dash cam footage that we got from Bruce. Well, we're going to figure out how to get him back. And he'll be okay. Now remember Mavis, and Mavis went through the dunny, you know, the hole when the termites ate through it and she went down through the water. Anyway, yeah, she ended up in Lower Bogan, but she's fine. But she got to get a new cast on because it all rotted off. Well, we got the inspector. The inspector came down from Wanna Dump. Now, Wanna Dump is a big smoke further up that way. Anyway, yeah, the inspector came out and he told us that we had to fill in the hole under the dunny because it was contaminating Lower Bogan's water supply. Well, that wasn't much good, so we got to move the dunny. And we were going to get the Loon Brothers, but uh, there's been a development there. Yeah, the inspector from Wanna Dump, he went out and he saw Larry Senior. Now, a lot of you may not know that the Loon brothers are twins. Yeah, Larry Sr. was born first. Yeah, and Mrs. Loon didn't know that she had having twins. So she's quite happy there, suckling away with, you know, with, with Larry Sr. And a few days later, she was out and she had to go and shear one of the sheep because they had the dags on the back and that, and it doesn't look very good anyway. She was down there and she was shearing the sheep about a week later. Well, she bent over to get the wool and out popped Larry's twin. Well, who knew? Anyway, he shot off down the sheep ramp and if it wasn't for the fact that his umbilical cord was still attached to Mrs. Loon, he would have ended up in the lanolin bath. Well, she tidied him up and took him back up to the homestead, and Mr. Loon, he's not too bright, you know. He doesn't have much imagination. Anyway, he called him Larry 2. So we've got Larry 1 and Larry 2, but we call Larry 1 Larry Senior, yeah, because it sounds better. Anyway, the inspector, he asked the Loon brothers for their licence. Well, Larry Senior, Larry one, he laughed and he laughed. He said, I don't have a licence. So the inspector said, you can't do any more building till you get a licence. So we've got to find somebody else to build a new dunny because it's got to be relocated, you know, and dug another hole. Now that's just about it for the updates and what's happening here in Upper Bogan. And now we've got a weather report from Lower Bogan. And take it away, fellas. G'day, I've got a stick. My good friend Sess has a stick too, haven't you, Sess? Sess? Well, yes, Nigel, I have a stick too. What do I do with a stick, Nigel? Pointed at that blue stuff, Sess. Well, here we have some blue stuff, and there's some white stuff. Keep pointing, Sess. You're doing a great job. Oh, okay. Uh, what's this thing, Nigel? 
bucket of I know, Sess. Keep pointing. It's changed again, Nigel. Do I point at it? What do you think I gave you the bloody stick, you nong? I don't know what this is supposed to be either, Nigel. I think it's one of those come as you are clouds, Sess. Well, there you have some blue stuff and some white stuff and some stuff with lines on it. Well, thanks, Sess. There you got some blue stuff, white stuff, and some stuff that got sticks poked at it. Well, that's it from Lower Bogan Met Office, and I'd like to say goodbye for now. Well, that was very interesting. Yes, yeah, so that's it. Bye for now. Bogan News.